The summer transfer window is upon us, and it's time to decide who do we keep, who do we sell, and who do we loan out in this Arsenal squad. Let's get the show started right now. And if you haven't already checked out the channel, please do hit that subscribe and like button. Yes, 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 people. What's going on? It's Eagle Talks Football, and I'm back again with another goddamn video. And today's video is going to be a sell, keep, loan video, as you can see here with the panel, uh, with everything that I got. And it's just going to be by myself, so I can run through it quite quickly. First things first, if you've been watching me for a long time, you know I want to get rid of Ainsley Maiden Niles, let him run down his contract, get him out of here. Um, then we got Miguel Aziz. I think Miguel Aziz is a young, up and coming quality player, but if we can get some fee for him, sell him or at least loan him out i don't really want uh, i want to keep the loan area for people that i have intentions of keeping in the long term so i would sell miguel aziz uh, as you guys can see right there moving on to uh fallen balligan a lot of people would say keep but really and truly we just loaned him out and he had a successful season on loan he doesn't want to get loaned out again he wants to be playing first team football and he's not going to get that at arsenal so we have to sell uh for him. Balligan. Ben White is a keep. He's been outstanding for us playing at right back. And last year he was outstanding playing for us at center half. Gabriel Magalhaes just got a new contract at Arsenal. He's going to be a keep. Very simple. Uh, Brooke Norton Cuffey. I would put him on loan again. Uh, he had a successful loan in the championship at, at um, was it Luton Town? No. It wasn't Luton Town. It was Coventry that he was on loan and he lost in the cup final. I'll loan him out again, but this time to a Premier League team to see if he can make it. I really do have high hopes for Brook Norton Cuffey. Um, sell Cedric. If his contract's running down, let his contract run down. I really don't want to see Cedric around here. I've seen some conversations where he said he wants to stay. But for me, no. Get rid. Get rid of Cedric. Um, if you guys don't already know, Charlie Patino was on loan this season to Blackburn. Uh, I think it's Blackburn. Or, or Blackpool, I forget which one, but one of those two clubs, he was uh, he was on there. But I would send him on. I would sell him because he said he doesn't want to go on loan again and he wants to be sold. Um, Emil Smith Rowe is a controversial one. I've even heard some people say they want to sell Emil Smith Rowe. I've heard some rumors about people saying they want to loan him out. Personally, I think Emil Smith Rowe is going to stay uh, stay with the first team for one more year. And if he doesn't cut the mustard and he can't stay fit next season, then we can consider selling Emil Smith Rowe. Um, Ethan, young youngster, uh, who 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 uh, made his debut versus Brentford and the youngest player in Premier League history. Um, I would I would say keep, but maybe give him some first team experience and maybe even loan him out. But we could lose him to Manchester City, so I would say maybe loan him out. But hey, you never know. Fabio Vieira. He just came in, had a rough first season, but hey, I do have high hopes for Fabio Vieira. He he did uh, he did actually do decent whenever he did play, but it's just he didn't get too much game time, and Mikel Arteta didn't trust him enough. He needs to bulk up and go to the gym and get better, get a little bit more physical. But as, as he does that, hopefully we'll see more from uh, Fabio Vieira in the future. Gabriel Jesus is straight keep. Uh, hopefully we can get more goals from Gabriel Jesus next season and he can be a little bit more clinical, even though people question how clinical of a striker he can actually be. Rob Holding. If I put him in keep, you guys are going to kill me. If I say loan, you guys are going to kill me. Really and truly, I agree with everybody. We should sell Rob Holding. His time at Arsenal, he's been here for long enough. And this is a man who almost quit football to become an NFL kicker if it wasn't for Arsenal calling uh, calling Bolton to get him for for the cheap price that we got him. Um, some of the young players here, I, I'm not too familiar with this young player, so I'm just going to leave him in undecided. Kieran Tierney is, some people say keep Kieran Tierney. I would love to keep Kieran Tierney, but the reality is he doesn't fit our system. Loaning out Kieran Tierney at this moment in time wouldn't make sense for us because we can make a financial big financial benefit from selling him. And I think we will end up selling him and he'll be one of our best sales. We would have bought him for 25 mil. We would be selling him for around 30 to maybe 40 mil. That's net profit for the club. And we've utilized him for many years and he we got our money's worth for Kieran Tierney. What a fan favorite he has been, but unfortunately I think it's time at Arsenal is over. Um, Marquinhos is quite young, so I get why people would say loan him out, but I don't think it's ever going to work out for Marquinhos at Arsenal. I would sell him, and if I could get anything decent, I would I would do that. Martinelli just got a new contract at Arsenal. He's not going nowhere. He signed up until 2028. Matt Turner just came in last season. He's not going nowhere. 
he he's going to stay at the club. Matt Smith, get him on loan. Let's see if he can get some game time somebody somewhere else. Mohamed Al Nani, I like Mohamed Al Nani. He has one more year remaining on his contract. If we can get some sort of return on uh, on the price that we paid for him a couple of years ago when, under Arsene Wenger, one of the only Arsene Wenger players left in this team, I would sell him and see if we can get maybe five or ten million for Mohamed Al Nani. That would be a good return. Uh, some people would say. Uh, some people would say sell Eddie and Ketia, but the reality is we wouldn't sell him. We wouldn't loan him. We would keep him as a backup because he is a serviceable backup. And even though he hasn't performed well and he hasn't scored a absolute, he hasn't scored a single goal off the bench this season. <coughs> the thing is, I don't think we're going to have enough money to invest in all the areas that we need to invest in. And we might have to keep Eddie and Ketia in the striker position. Uh, Pepe, nobody in world football wants to buy Pepe. Uh, we're gonna probably have to loan him out again, just because nobody wants to buy him. I would, I would love to sell him, but the reality is nobody wants to buy him. So that's why I'm putting him in loan. Just loan him out. Just get him off the books. We don't need him in the dressing room. Um, he's not a problem in the dressing room. It's just he's not gonna ever play. He might, he might become a problem. Martin Odegaard, club captain. Hopefully, we can get him under a new contract. Um, Thomas Partey. I've been seeing people saying they want to sell Thomas Partey. I think that's ridiculous. We should not be selling Thomas Partey. We should be keeping. Thomas Partey in the team. There's no need to be loaning him out. Keep Thomas Partey and see if he can get a one or one or two year contract extension. Uh, Aaron Ramsdale just signed a new contract at the club, so he's not uh, he's not going anywhere either. So expect to see Aaron Ramsdale at the club for the foreseeable future. Reese Nelson also just got a new contract. Is going to be getting a new contract, so hopefully he will be staying at the club. Also, um, some of the uh, Russell Waltons is going to be staying. Uh, Bakayo Saka, of course, is going to be getting a new contract at Arsenal. He's going to be staying. He just signed a new contract until 2028. Uh, so he'll be staying. William Saliba hopefully will be signing a new contract. And he will not be sold, ladies and gentlemen. William Saliba, he will be staying. He'll be signing a new contract. And we cannot afford to lose William Saliba if we do not get him signed up to a new contract. Would you guys consider selling him? Let me know in the comment section. For me, no chance to be sell William Saliba. Um, Sam, Albert Sambilakonga, end of the road for him. I would get rid of Albert Sambilakonga. I would sell him. I don't think it's worth. Uh, he's been worth the money, and the gamble has not worked out. We need players that help us win now, and Albert Sambilakonga is just not. Uh, doesn't have the football IQ to defend in the midfield and play the style that we asked him to play. Austin Trusty will never get to play for Arsenal. Austin Trust the process will be sold for a potential two million. Or, or three million pounds to a Scottish team, maybe Celtic. Uh, he's done amazing in, in, in Birmingham City on loan, but never really is going to ever cut the mustard at Arsenal. Tamiyasu is a keep. I don't think we're going to sell Tamiyasu. We're going to keep Tamiyasu for the foreseeable future. Although I would love to keep Granit Xhaka. He wants to leave, so I guess we're going to have to sell Tom. We're going to have to sell Granit Xhaka. And similar to Kieran Tierney. Uh, him, him and Kieran Tierney are probably going to be our two biggest sales of the summer transfer window, in addition to Ferlin Balligan. So we'll make some decent money off. We can make some decent money off these guys here. Uh, these guys here, if you, if you, if you get, if you get what I'm saying. Uh, the rest of the guys, I don't know how much money we can really garner off these guys, but these guys right here, we can make some money off of. I would say 10, 20 million there, five to 10 million there, 15 million there, 30 million there, five million there. Another 45 million there. That could easily be 100 million. Um, then we got Zinchenko. Zinchenko just signed. It was amazing first season for Zinchenko at Arsenal. I think we keep Zinchenko. Uh, no question about it. Zinchenko is not going nowhere for me in, in the Arsenal in the Arsenal team. He's going to stick around in the Arsenal team. Next, uh, Jorginho. I would give Jorginho a one-year contract extension. I would keep him at the club. I don't. I don't think there's any. We have any intentions of selling him. Um, next, I would look at. Trussard, Trussard, we're going to keep Trussard at Arsenal for me. I don't think Trussard is going anywhere. I think Trussard has been a serviceable option off the bench and has played well in the second half of the season, really pushing us for that title race. Jakub Kebor, we haven't seen enough of him. I'm not ready to sell him. He did play well in the business end of the season when he, when he came on for the last couple of games, but it was too late by then. We've already lost the league. Maybe Mikel Arteta can trust him more next season. And finally, Nuno Tavares. I would sell Nuno Tavares, get his ass out of here. I don't want nothing to do with Nuno Tavares next season. But yeah, that is my sell, keep, loan. Um, that is my sell, keep, and loan uh, portion of the show. People are probably thinking, why am I, why am I, uh, why am I uh, loaning out Pepe? I'm only loaning out Pepe because I don't think anyone's gonna actually buy him. Uh, if anyone was willing to buy him, then I'll just put him in sell. So. 
There you go. I put Pepe in sell now. That is that is my sell keep loan for the day. You guys let me know what you guys think about that. And yeah, if you would change anything from my list. Uh, and that's that's all I have to say for today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm out of here. As you guys already know, Kitty G, Eagle Talks Football. And hopefully you guys subscribe, like, and share the video around. Let me know what you guys thought about this video right here. It was a quick little one. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm out of here, people. As you guys already know, Eagle Talks Football. We'll be back again for the next show very, very soon. Uh -huh.